I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good morning, my friends. I had a little trouble uploading this morning, and I hope you didn't miss having your coffee with me. Probably was about two hours later than what I normally upload, so I'm sorry if you missed your coffee. Maybe we can have some tea about now together. Well, I've been ticking off my jobs, and um, right now I'm at a point where I'm going to pick up the scissors and I'm going to start cutting some more of those pictures of Moosey and I with the Santa hats out. I've asked Micah if he's able to cut the uh, with the drill, the little holes in those. He's going to be able to do that. I did Colleen's jeans. I used my 6,000 glue. She asked me to fix the patches. They were sort of half on, half off. They started to come off, but I think this 6,000 will hold. She kind of wanted these finished because you only have about seven or eight more days to wear these. I think it's looking good. I love this one too. Ooh, here's one. This is holding nicely. So many of you, I read this morning all the comments from yesterday, and so many of you had so many great suggestions out to as to what type of glues would keep that on, and thank you very much. Unfortunately, it's done, <laughs> and I used the 6,000 glue, but I will keep all those suggestions in mind for the next time I do something like this. I want to tell you that on my sweater, and I decided to wear black today because it will show up my pretty little uh, Christmas tree earrings and also the wreath. I think I've shown you some of these that my mother crocheted and I wear this every year. It's a, it's a wreath with a little bow on the top and I wear it every year and it reminds me of all the wonderful Christmases that I had with my family for all those years. Now I was able to get that t-shirt cut. I happened to find these blankets. Now what I plan to do with these beautiful blankets, on the inside it has a nice plush cozy, that's the back of the fabric. Now I have two grandsons, actually they're Matthew's kids, and they're uh, teens, young teens. And they wanted blankets that they could wrap around them. These are the types of kids that walk around the house with blankets wrapped around them. And then they flop on the couch and they love to, to wrap them around them. So what you call throws are a little too small for these big guys. What I found are t-shirts. I found a Raiders shirt. Now the Raiders is a football team that was here in LA for many, many years. We had season tickets. Now they're in Las Vegas, but it remains a favorite for Matthew and his son, Matthew Jr. So what I am going to do, I am going to cut um, a nice big, sort of a square, not really a square, but as much as I can get out of this t-shirt. I will sew this onto a corner of this gorgeous gray blank, the twin size. So it's like 72 by 92. I found them in Walmart and a twin size, I think they were $19, great buy. And look at this color. This one is for Dolly, the younger teen, and his favorite team is the Patriots, New England Patriots. I have had to order a Patriots t-shirt. So that's my project to sew in the corner these wonderful signs <laughs> while they're from the t-shirts. And I did show you a clip of what I did. This is though I have a lot of buffalo check around here, our bedding and fabric. I made some robes for the kids a while back and I used this for, this is a fleece, which is um, has been some lining for some of the Christmas stockings. But I cut out my square of Raiders from the t-shirt and then I cut a piece of that fleece as a nice backing to form um, some substance to the fabric. I will turn this inside out and I'll sew the back to the front, two, two fronts facing each other, then turn it inside out and then maybe do some, um, it depends on if the fabric is nice and tight, 
I might do some straight across uh, quilting machine stitches, not a lot. And then I will sew it on one of the corners of the blanket. Pretty easy. So now all I have to do is wait for my Patriot one to come in and I can get now that cut. All of, I just checked my Amazon purchases. You know, I'm just looking at myself. I have curlers in my hair. Oh, goodness. Anyway, <laughs> I, well, I'll leave this. It's just another boo boo, Moosey says, but that's okay. I just, uh, it's just the back. It's just a couple. That's why I didn't notice it. I just checked my Amazon deliveries and it looks like the other Patriot t shirt. Now, this is what's supposed to happen here. It's just supposed to be a little um, 1970s turn up. A little, uh, I don't know what you call it, those flips. It's a flip in the back and then a poof on top. Anyway, I checked my Amazon deliveries and it looks like in about, they usually tell you your stop is 10 stops away. My Patriot t-shirt should be arriving and I can do the other one now. And then all I have to do is to go into the sewing room slash closet, which is a wreck right now, and I will be able to sew those. So two projects on the um, docket for today. And and then I think that's it. It's kind of a, a nice day here. <laughs> when I said yesterday that I was going to put my Christmas sweaters away, I noticed that somebody said, no way, Nanny, not yet. It's not time to put the sweaters away. Well, I didn't mean all of them. I meant the ones that I have already worn. And I don't know whether you can see, but I have a few more sitting here to be in the lineup for some sweaters to wear. You know, I've been thinking about what night Moosey and I should go out and take that little ride over to that little neighborhood where they do all the lights. I'm anxious to see it. And I want to try and pick a night that's not too crowded. You know, the cars sort of just follow each other around and around throughout the neighborhood. We must have spent, what, an hour in there the last time? Oh, yeah. It was fascinating going up and down the streets. Sometimes Moosey was filming, and um, I don't want you to get upset about this, but sometimes I was holding the camera while I was driving because some were better on my side, some were better on his side. But it's just a fantastic ride. You only drive less than five miles an hour, so you're just sort of strolling along. But it's fascinating. And then there are also a lot of people walking. But I think the best time to go is right when it starts to get dark. And lately it's been, what, 4.30, almost 5 o'clock. They're quite early. You know, I did, when rooting around in my makeup this morning, I tried to do, by the way, another um, color on my eyes. I went into the browns today and the gold sparkles. I don't know whether you can see them. My one little um, dot which is a red pink pigmentation on my eye always shows up. I have to figure out a way to hide that. But I did get a little bit of the uh, browns and the gold sparkles. I just thought it was a, a change. And I've started to use some of the regular um, eyeshadow on my brows this morning. I just put some in the middle and on the tails and it didn't come out quite so dark. A little bit under the eyes too. So, oh well, <laughs> it's always a problem somewhere. I did come up with another gift idea when I was rooting around in there. I found something that I had gotten, it was around Valentine's Day this year, past, and I wanted to get something for Margie. Her birthday is right before Valentine's Day. And I looked on Amazon and I found these wonderful little things. I might have told you about them at the time, but I thought, and it's a little late, but I know these came within a day or two, so you could still order them. They're a little portable travel set of makeup brushes or cosmetic brushes, and they're absolutely fascinating. You open both sides of this little tube, and it's pretty. It comes in a rose gold or a pink, and in here you have a lipstick brush. Now they're little mini brushes and I think the handles might get bigger. No, not this one, but I think some of the others might. So you have a, a little um, eyebrow brush. 
you have a lip brush, you have a face brush. I don't know what all these for. You probably know better than I do on this end. And I'll put them all back in again. And it's a five in one, this one is. There was another one that was a little bit taller that was four in one. But they're both under $10. I think they were $9.89 or something. And then when you put the top on, I have to get my glasses on again. When you put the top on, the other side opens up. Oh, and on this top up here, by the way, is your sponge, a little slanted sponge that you would wet. This is terrific. I think I'll show them against my black sweater. So there's your sponge. And then on the other end, you have a nice big powder puff at the top and it's very, very soft, just beautiful. And so that's five, isn't it? The sponge, the facial brush, and I guess this would be what, for foundation? And then the eye and the lip and something else. So that's three littles, a sponge and a brush. I saw that in the movies. You did see this in a movie? Yeah, 007 had that. James Bond. He used it on himself? No, he could kill you with it. Oh, oh right. There's a, all kinds of little tricks in lipstick things, right? Fantasy. It's a, it would be a cute stocking stuffer for a friend, um, a partner, teenagers. I think it's cute. And under $10. So we just found out we have two more things to add to our social calendar. I have been invited to go up to Colleen's for a cookie making session with Ryan and Shannon and Colleen. So that will be fun and I will uh, videotape that. So that will be another day. And the other event is that the Lollapalooza that Debbie was supposed to have last week and then she came down with COVID has been rescheduled for Wednesday. I don't think she's gonna have Santa come, but uh, I think that's the one that Moosey and I might not get to because in a few days we'll be seeing all those kids anyway. So those were the two extra things that we'll be doing besides that ride out to the neighborhood to see that we're gonna be doing that very soon. Duffy is out and about today. She's out having fun. She said it's been 10 days since she's been confined and two weeks since she came down with COVID and she tested negative, I think yesterday or the day before. She's feeling fine, except her taste and smell are a little off. Barry is good and recovering. So thank God they had uh, light cases and she's at Costco right now getting all sorts of things to get ready for our she's Christmas Eve. Yeah, she spent a lot of money getting ready for our uh, Christmas Eve daytime starts at 10 in the morning. We have the huge big table with everybody brings something for the brunch, very festive. And then we all go outside and sit outside. We have a big long table where everybody brings something from home. We, uh, we decided nobody wants to go out and shop because sometimes there are several people, it, it, that's each person. So you find something, not a white elephant something, but something nice that you don't really think you can use anymore, but you think someone else might do, might enjoy it. And you try and make it um, genderless so that in case uh, someone gets it that's a female, doesn't get a male gift. So what we do, everybody has these uh, up on the front. Some are wrapped and some are not wrapped. Some are gigantic things. Oh, we've had a, we've had suitcases and things. I remember Mikey brought two suitcases the last time and Bill got them and they kept passing around and passing around and they weren't nice looking suitcases. And uh, Billy, our son Bill wound up with them and <laughs> he in the end was disappointed and you know, cause they didn't look that great, took them home. And it was six months later when we were all sitting around talking about the funny uh, gifts that went around that year. And Mikey said, well, what did you think of the gift that, that I had? Because after a while, you knew it was from Mikey. And he said, yeah, it was a pretty junky uh, suitcase or something. He said, did you, did you bother opening up the suitcase? And Bill said, no, why? So he said, I had a $50 bill in there. Can you believe it? 
I don't think he threw the suitcase out, but that was supposed to be the surprise of that one. And I thought that was a clever gift. There have been some really nice gifts. Uh, last year, I had an espresso machine that I had picked up at a thrift shop that worked beautifully. And Billy got that one too, by the way, and he uses that for his B&B. &B. He has that wonderful place on the, um, on the river up there in Idaho and uh, he uses it for people getting up in the morning. They can go out and make their own espressos in the kitchen. And so it's kind of a fun thing. We all pick numbers, and of course, number one goes first, and I think they're gonna, because it goes on so long, I think we have 50, 60 people this year, and, and it's just family and kids and a couple of SOs, and um, it took. It really takes almost all day by the time you eat and everything, and we're laughing and kidding around. And the stealing is the fun part. And so I think we've limited it to two steals for each present this year. So that's going to be fun. There was something else I wanted to tell you. Oh, I took a little uh, B-roll of um, Shamu and Ghost this morning when I went out to feed them breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Are you looking for your food? Is it good? Is it good? Oh, good. It's yeah. food. What? Oh, you're hungry? Okay. Yum, yum. Yes. Because I know a lot of you say we'd love to see the animals. Well, I haven't seen Coda or Harley. They're having fun. So, got my glasses all clean. Now I can... Anything else we should... Tell our friends today. The supper was delicious, wasn't it, Moose? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was really Is good. A, uh, a revival of it tonight? I think I am. Moose said it was so good, he felt like licking the plate. He, he, he might have. I drank the syrup. <laughs> he drank the syrup. Um, if I do the same thing, revive it, do a repurposing of it, because I have a lot of it left, uh, remember, I still had a few, a uh, little bit of the vegetables that I was going to save for a minestrone soup. I might just throw those in that big pan. And um, I have a little bit more pasta, although there's quite, there's a big bowl of it left. So I think I will redo it with the um, uh, whipping cream, sour cream, and a, a can of condensed bisque. It's almost soup, whatever it is. It was a lobster bisque, but oh, it was delicious really good. Speaking of the dinner, did you, didn't you love that great big pan? It's a ceramic pan and I decided, um, or Santa decided, that I should have a really good one. We had a ceramic pan for ages and ages. You could not get a scratch on that. I think they've done away with the old Teflon and everything. These ceramic uh, pans are, they're more money. They're, they're expensive, I guess, unless you find one in a thrift shop, which I did the old one, but I forgot about something on the stove and, and it burned and it's so charred that I couldn't get it clean again. So I said, maybe Santa will bring me one this year. So according to the agreement that Moosey and I have about picking out our own things and then acting very surprised. So this is a gift from Moosey, Santa maybe. And it was under the tree. But when I made that dinner last night, I decided that Santa wouldn't care if I borrowed it. And oh boy, it cleaned up with a sponge this morning so easily and it will go back under the tree. There's a few other neat presents that Santa has picked out for me too. Right, Moose? <laughs> Whatever you say, you little gnome. gnome. Yeah, gnome. A good gnome. <laughs> gnome. Well, you know what? It's not a big newsy day, but it's always fun to drop in on you and to say hi. And Moosey and I are thinking of you on day number, is it 18, really? That's kind of exciting. So thank you. Again and again and again for encouraging me, for enjoying all our our videos and, and for saying such wonderful things about our videos and about us. We do appreciate everything from the bottom of our hearts. 
So until we see each other again tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday morning, maybe you're going to sleep in a little bit. So maybe I'll make it an hour later. Thank you so much again. I love you all. Bye for now. And God bless us all. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to have